I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my five must-haves series. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. So the last video in this series was my five must-have makeup items. It was quite easy because I only really use six items every day anyway, whereas this one is going to be a little bit more difficult because it's natural cleaning products and I have a lot of natural cleaning products that I love. If I could only survive with five items, it would be these. And I feel like you can kind of cover all areas of cleaning with these five products. So Jasper is here again. <laughs> Normally I don't film with kids and um, you're about to find out why. The ice cream van's not here. Watch out because the tripod's behind you. Okay, so number one, method multi-purpose surface, multi-surface surface cleaner. It's a bit of a mouthful. I absolutely love anti-back. I love knowing that 99.9% .9 of germs are gone from my home. I'm not a germaphobe at all. I feel like I say this in every cleaning video. I'm more than happy for my boys to like eat dirt and pick up sticks and play around in the garden but I just like my home to be nice and clean so I've always used anti-back but then it just suddenly hit me one day that there are so many toxic chemicals in like, your typical anti-back spray and I just thought yeah I'm getting rid of kind of the old food and stuff on Jensen's high chair but then he's eating off of what I think is a really really clean high chair and putting chemicals in his mouth and you know, he's crawling around on the floor and Jasper's dropping food picking it up putting it back in his mouth and it's the toxic chemicals that really just didn't sit right with me and that's why I made a switch over to natural cleaning products and when I did look for natural cleaning products I didn't think that I would find a 99.9% .9 bacteria killing spray. Method do one, they do one that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, completely natural, you get really really lush scents, I was going to say flavours, they're definitely not flavours. Okay, number two, this is another all-purpose cleaner and this is Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 Hemp Tea Tree Pure Castile Soap. There is so much writing on these bottles. I did a bit of research because the writing's very like godly and I was really interested to know what it was and I think basically Dr. Bronner escaped during the war. No, I'm going to completely get this wrong. I read my friend Mamalina interviewed Dr. Bronner's niece, granddaughter, something like that and it was something like he was around, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to say it because I'm going to get it wrong and I really don't want to get it wrong um, but yeah it's basically he was a soap maker um, around the times of the war and I think he was Jewish, I think, but my nan was Jewish and she escaped during the war and lost a lot of family and came over to England so when I read it I was kind of like oh that's really like I don't know, it's just like, it's a warming story. So um, yeah, do your research, find out about it, or um, I'll let you guys know next time. <laughs> anyway, it's 18 in one. You can use it for absolutely everything. You can use it for your surfaces, your laundry, your hair, your face, absolutely everything. If you could only have one product, it would probably be this. Like if you're going traveling, this is probably something that would be really, really good. But I don't really like how it works on my hair. I do use it for my face and I'll talk about that in another video but it's something that's really good for like cleaning the kitchen cupboards and the tops of the kitchen cupboards and the floor. I do have like other floor cleaner that's natural. I don't use it every day, obviously I use my anti back spray for that but it's something that I'll mix with water and essential oils. You do get different flavours but I mix it with essential oils and I'll spray it on things like the oven and the hob and kind of harder to clean things. I don't know, it's just, it's a really, really good product. So that's it, that was a really rambly one. Okay, number three, another method product, and this is the Concentrated Laundry Detergent. I'm pretty sure that their laundry range is new. I absolutely love this. Basically, my boys have got really sensitive skin, so we've been using non-toxic laundry products for, I'd say, a couple of years now, way before I even thought about, like, cutting out chemicals in our home and non-toxic living and stuff like that. So I'd already kind of made a start in the laundry department. But the only thing is, the one that we were using was e-cover, and I just, I didn't feel like the clothes smelt fresh. It cleaned them nicely, it didn't react with the boys' skin, but yeah, it just, it didn't smell like washed clothes and that's something that I really, really missed about using like fairy and purcell and all of that. Whereas this one, it leaves your clothes smelling so, so nice. Of course, the product is completely natural, the bottle's reused and you know, so it's all eco-friendly and everything. And I find that when I use this, I don't need to use fabric conditioner. So it's kind of cut my laundry expenses in half because I'm only using one product now instead of two. So yeah, this is really good. They do a few different scents. This is orchard fruit. I think they do peony and another one, but yeah, it just, it smells incredible and it's really really good for kids with eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, anything like that. Okay, number four, an e-cloth. There are loads of different ones. There are ones for like windows, glass, wood, all different ones. This is just the kind of all-purpose one and what's fantastic about these, I don't know exactly how it works or the technology, but you only need to use water with them. So I use these on windows and mirrors. I know that you can get all-natural window and mirrors and glass and everything cleaners it kills 99% of bacteria I think it's 99 
and yeah for something that's just a cloth and water I think that's fantastic I think as well I'm doing lots of thinks I should have done all my facts before but I'm sure it lasts like 300 uses or something last but not least essential oils now I could do a whole video on essential oils they are so so good for cleaning health beauty absolutely everything the four main ones that I have are eucalyptus oil lemon oil this one's lavender the labels come off and tea tree now lemon oil is probably the one that I use the most I mix it in with my Dr Bronner liquid castile soap and water and I put it in a spray bottle and I use it to clean the surfaces. I'll pop it down the sink with some baking powder and white vinegar. I'll leave it on the oven again with baking powder and white vinegar and it all foams up and smells lovely. But lemon has so many antibacterial properties. You could cut a lemon in half and wipe it over a chopping board to clean it, clean your work surfaces with it. Lemon is absolutely incredible and obviously it smells nice and fresh as well. Pop it down the toilet with some baking powder as well and some white vinegar and watch it all like bubble up, absolutely brilliant. So eucalyptus, tea tree and lavender I use mainly for the scent. I don't really know much about their cleaning properties. But yeah, lemon has really, really great cleaning properties. I don't know how many times I've just said that. If you guys know more than let me know if you recommend any, if you know which ones are best for cleaning different products. I do know a lot about using them in the health and beauty department, but yeah, I'm keen to learn more about cleaning as well. Well, that's it. Those are my five most used natural cleaning products. I absolutely love them. I will link below the video where I kind of talked about my whole switch over to natural cleaning products and why and how I did it and what I swapped over and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please do give it a big fat thumbs up comment below let me know what your favorite natural cleaning products are let me know what other videos you'd like me to do in the series subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye